Hi, it's Brendan Chaplin here from Strength and Conditioning Education. I'm here with Ben Haining, my esteemed colleague. We've literally just finished the first ever Youth Strength and Conditioning Coach course. Really, really fantastic bunch of coaches that have passed through the course. Really good competence. Everybody came in on day one a little bit concerned and those usual questions about what can you do with young athletes, what can't you do, what's safe, can you do plyometrics, can you do weight training and we literally answered those questions, gave people the tools and the structure to move it on and um, so really, really, really pleased on, on that basis and we've got a workforce now that's able to go out and inspire and engage and get results with these young people and really focus on the health and wellness and movement quality as well as the performance of our younger generation. Ben, what were your take homes? I think the overwhelming thing was it, it was fantastic to get a group of people that were so engaged with really learning and developing their skills in this area. And it just reinforced for me how much of an important um, opportunity we have to help them and support them. And they did really well. I was really impressed with them. I think what was really great, I think they got an awful lot out of the screening and the movement management sessions that I put in place um, on the first day. Um, management sort of sessions rather than corrective exercise but but of that nature looking at helping improve squat patterns avoiding valgus knee valgus patterns hip and unlocking glute hip complexes and, and mobility type of stuff was really good but i also felt that where they really got into it was when we were doing the games for understanding um, exciting, engaging and enabling warm-ups, using that warm-up as an opportunity to actually have a lot of your physical competency mm. yes. strands throughout. Yeah. Um, and I just felt it was, they, they, I got a lot of, we got a lot of good energy from them. Mm. Um, yeah. And I, uh, you know, I just enjoyed that. And then of course we got in the gym and we, we looked at some resistance training, some high quality strength qualities, yeah. but I think that worked well after the first day which was very movement focused yes. before we started looking at the loadings and, yeah. and getting people to understand it's a big leap to go from just doing a basic dynamic stretch warm-up into doing a resistance based strength session yeah. and actually youth strength and conditioning is far bigger than that there's far more many opportunities to do things in sessions which is what I thought probably your best session which I thoroughly enjoyed watching was the session where you talked about what could go into a 60 minute session in terms of qualities. Perhaps you could share a little bit of that because I thought that was really strong. No, I enjoyed giving that session. It was a really good expression of my experience and some of the mistakes that I've made and lessons learned. Because I think the, other, the, the big thing here is that, yes, we've got to be able to coach and manage movement and make changes and, and be inspiring as coaches and leaders. And I think the group that were on the course really got that and in their coaching assessments nailed that. But we've got to be able to build and put together exciting sessions, ex sessions that get in results, that are engaging. Absolutely. And to do that, it's not just having the ability to coach somebody how to squat or to, to understand how to do a warm-up. It's about piecing together that and layering that. I think that's a really key point because what I think you did as well with that session, I think we've been trying to do is dispelling the fears because I think on that first morning there was quite a lot of uncertainty yeah. about what can I do, what can I not do and I felt at the end of day one it was almost like there was a smile on everybody's face, oh okay so it's alright to do this yes. but here's yeah. the content, here's the knowledge. It brings it together. Yeah. And it? I thought your Somewhere. session that you did put the little bit of the icing on the cake there because it made people able to reference, ah oh, here's a pathway, here's a yeah. progression, that's what I really like. And the thing it. with that is that it's funny because at the beginning of day one and, and the whole rationale for this entire youth strength conditioning coach course is that people don't know what to do and there is that little bit of fear and mm -hmm. there's probably people watching this interview now that you know that they're, they're concerned about how to work with young people can they do what they do with their other clients and athletes and that's what this course is all about and that session really I think sort of pieced that together because it's, it's not rocket science but there is a structure and that program that I presented has worked and been tried and tested for over a decade and we just give it to people and let them play with that and I think that then takes us into sort of one of my other sessions which was the business of youth fitness and the thing is it's really easy for, for us to say you know you're gonna be able to make an impact and go out and work with all these young people which is the goal of the course of course but if you haven't got the tools to 
engage with communities, with parents, with schools, with sports teams, and a strategy for doing that, then you're going to be like everybody else out there that kind of wants to make a difference but doesn't know how. And this is the, ultimately my mission, the biggest mission of, of any, is to provide these opportunities. So I'm really excited with the, the, the feedback and the long-term plan of, of these group of coaches and, and the next group of coaches are going to come on this youth course to go out there, to engage with communities and they will really be able to make a difference commercially with that. I think in support of that and I think what's really important that we've, I think we've got through this weekend and I think that people can hit the ground running on Monday when they want to start working with, with their, the, the youth, the younger groups of people and athletes. We've been very diligent to make sure that we are flagging up health and safety, child protection, going through the right processes and understanding how that process works, but without scaremongering and then introducing energetic sessions. I enjoyed my games-based sessions, the Great. acceleration, really noughts and crosses fun. session, got the guys running and yes. having fun. And it's quite interesting. You can see adults actually almost go into that that child having fun mode because yes. we all want to have fun yeah. and we all want to enjoy it as well as get training benefit and, and nice. kind of modalities in That's there. Cool. So I really enjoyed that. Um, and I just felt, I felt actually quite privileged to be here in my environment, delivering the first course with yourself today in an environment that I'm very passionate about, mm. sharing those experiences. Um, because obviously you work in your own environment for a period of time and very often you don't get the opportunity to see as many external practitioners. And I feel very pleased that for, come Monday, they've done the course, they've passed the course, they're ready to go and make a difference. And it's just the beginning, Brendan. A few more of these courses and we're going to start to really make a difference and that's the most important thing. I agree. It's, it's exciting times and I'm really pleased to be pushing this forward and, and off the back of this weekend, the feedback's been fantastic. So thank you for your input. Really, really skill-based, excellent stuff. Genuine paediatric strength and conditioning specialist, Mr. Ben Haney. So if you're watching this and you're interested in working with young people, from a fitness perspective, a strength and conditioning perspective, it's a great opportunity right now to do that. The Youth Strength and Conditioning course gives you a coaching competence that allows you to go out there with confidence and really work and inspire and engage with these young people. We also give you the tools from a business perspective to build your youth fitness business plan off the back of this and add that into your existing business or maybe let it take over and, and evolve into something that is a, is a full-time role for you. We cover everything from assessments, movement management, exercise progression, speed and agility. We'll look at the business aspects, obviously. We'll look at the game-based learning, how to really tweak and, and amend your sessions to really get the most from these young people. And you'll be able to work with people who are from six to 18 years old and have a really good strategy and structure to do that. So check out the Youth Strength and Conditioning coaching course and we'll see you there very, very soon.